Hi creators, today we're going to look at putting a text overlay onto a video in DaVinci Resolve 15. Let's get started. So first we'll open up a new project in DaVinci Resolve and we're going to just call this text overlay. Okay, so we're just going to bring in some footage into DaVinci Resolve and I have this clip here and it's just some slow motion falling apples. I'll change my uh, display there to match the video. And so we can scrub through this and see it's just a simple video. And if we wanted to add a text overlay, uh, there's a couple of options now, particularly with DaVinci Resolve 15. And so the first thing we want to do is make sure that our effects library is turned on up here so we can see our toolbox of our effects. And we want to go to titles. And so under the old uh, the 14 version, we just had text. We now have text plus, and we have all these pre-built fusion titles that are already set up for us. So I'll briefly first go over the old text. And so if we want to just add text to our display, we can just drag it onto a new video clip uh, on the timeline. And you're going to want to have it over the top of your uh, video because it's a stack here in DaVinci Resolve. So everything on top is going to be shown first. And so we have this title here. And so we can just change the text and we can say apples. We can change the font by clicking the font family button to something. And we can change the font face to bold, italic. This is already an italic font. So let's try something different. Uh, we'll, we'll go with, um, there we go. <clears throat> I like that a little better. Okay. So I'm going to change this to bold. We can now change the size, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. That looks pretty good. We can change the, the tracking space out the letters a little more here. If we have multiple lines, we can change the line spacing between the lines and we can change the font styles. If you want to make it subscript, superscripts, underline, and some different options there and the alignment you can center that uh, left, justify, right, justify, etc. This is the position and this is, these are where we start getting into key frameable options here. So position, zoom, rotation, angle, and then the shadow, stroke, and background. We can keyframe all those if you see this little diamond next to uh, the line there. So position, you know, you have an X position and a Y position. And we can make this, this even bigger if we want through using the zoom. We can rotate this however we want. Like I said, you can keyframe that. No problem. <clears throat> And then we, we get into drop shadows and strokes. I love using the strokes. And so it's already set for black here. We have a black background, so we would have to change this to a different color for the stroke. I'm going to just pull this up. And so now when I, when I bring this up, I'm going to get this little outline around the, the actual text there. Let's actually try yellow. There, that shows up a little bit better. And if I would change my text color here, you can maybe even see some, some other differences. <clears throat> so there's a lot that we can do here. And just touching on the, the tip of the iceberg here. And if you want to do a background, and so basically this is going to put a little bit of a panel behind our, our text. In this video, it's probably not needed. But if you had kind of a lot going on in your video, you might want to add this. And so you'll just select your color and the outline if you want to do that. And we're going to just change the size of the, the actual outline. And we'll have to adjust it to the size of our text. I'll make it a little bit bigger 
so I can show you the uh, drop shadow. And so we can change the corners of this, make it more rounded if you'd like, and change the center point, opacity, etc. So if you want to lighten that up a little bit so you can see through it, that's a good way to do it. And so if we want to add the drop shadow, um, basically it's going to project a shadow on top of um, on top of this background that we put in. So we have to change the offset. And so now you can see that kind of that drop shadow. So that's pretty neat. Ooh, I'm kind of way up there. Let's go back to 20. Okay, so that's kind of a neat feature and you can change the opacity to make that lighter or darker. So that's kind of the old text overlays in uh, DaVinci Resolve. And those are those are pretty neat and like I said let's uh, let's animate this real quick so you understand how to do that I will um, and once you set up these shadows and the backgrounds and everything everything is kind of one piece so that's kind of nice so we're gonna go about here and I'm gonna put this stuff all the way off the side I'll keyframe that and then when these apples fall about there I'm going to bring them back into place in the middle of the screen and it already set the keyframe for me and then let's say actually let's pull a little more and then we will go a couple of more and we'll bring that back just a little bit to get a little bit of a bounce there okay so let's play that kind of fast but we, we can change those keyframes pretty easy um, by opening up this little toolbar here and we can see our keyframes and so I'm gonna move that one over a little bit and we'll play that one again okay okay so enough with the the old 2D. I'm going to delete that one out. And so we have these predefined um, fusion titles now that are into place. Um, so let's just try to drag one of these. You can you can play around with these. Some of these are pretty neat. And so this is like a lower thirds. And obviously you can you can make your changes here in the text. Whoops. So there's a lot we can do here. And if you want to get into the actual details of this fusion um, clip, you can click, click the uh, fusion button here and make the changes there. Or there are some options you can change in these panels. Um, there's a lot more in the fusion actually. And, and I'll try to do a video on that later so we, we can explore some of the advanced details of that. So we're going to delete this, this one. If you want to just use a straight up text plus, you can add it as well. Just drag and drop that. Oops. Call this apples. And again, you have the font here. And we have the tracking. That is not a very good font. Do something a little wild here okay so we have this font here and as you notice we don't have some of the other features like the um, the stroke and some of those the drop shadows in that and that can be done but um, this has some other kind of neat neat features and so let's take a look at these so we have a video mode here which is kind of neat and so we can change this to say, actually, let me go back, do this first. So I'm gonna change this to a yellow, like a lighter yellow. So that really shows up. And here, if we wanna change this to an add, or even better, probably in this, this case, like a, a difference, 
And so now we kind of get this cool effect. We kind of get the video coming through and it's processing there. It's got a little bit to do. So it will, when you render that, it'll, it'll be, look a lot better. Um, this is just a laptop. It's only got a, a 960 in it. So um, it, it's not super fast, but so, or we can do an ad here. So we can see the colors kind of coming through here just a little bit. And so you can change, you can lighten that up, kind of give it different effects there. So there's a lot we can do with the new text plus and obviously the old text is really simple, straightforward. If you just want some nice 2D text to put on your videos. So hopefully this, this uh, DaVinci Resolve 15 text overlay video was very helpful for you. Um, it just gives you the tip of the iceberg on some of the options, but it can do a whole bunch and right in the program, you don't have to go out to After Effects and add these in. So everything can be done right in the Resolve workspace. And so, which is really great. And you can turn things off and on if you don't wanna see it. So, it's, it's really just a great program. We can add multiple titles. You can do a whole bunch of things with this. And there's some other uh, title options here, such as a scrolling text for like credits. And then there are some lower thirds options here as well that are built right into the original text package that's been there for a while. But um, those are options for you, well, for you as well to explore. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something about Resolve text overlays and we'll talk to you later.